In this video, we are discussing this keyword, as well as bind, call and apply method is JavaScript. All of this in less than 4 minutes. So let's get started. This has different values depending on where it is used. In a method, method is in a function inside an object, like the full name method on the screen. Value of this refers to the owner object, which in our case is the president object. When used alone, the value of this will be window in browser and global in a node application. When inside a regular function, value of this will be window in browser and global in a node application. But if JavaScript is in strict mode, then the value would be undefined. If the function is an arrow function, even if it is a method in an object, the value of this will be window in browser and global in a node application. In an event handler function, the value of this will depend on how we are defining our event handler. When you use inline handlers as HTML attributes, the value of this would be window. But, in case of add event listeners, it would be the target HTML element. There is one more thing that would be of interest to many, which is the value of this in a callback function, but we will discuss that towards the end of this video. If in case, somebody watching the video wants to skip that. For now, we will discuss call, apply and bind methods in JavaScript. To discuss call method, we will go back to one of our previous examples, the president object. Consider the case where we have another object which is X president, which has the same properties, first name and the last name. But rewriting the full name method is considered a bad practice. What we could do is something like a function borrowing using a call method as you see on the screen. But as many of you would have already realized Donald Trump may not like to borrow anything from Joe Biden and vice versa. We could make it easy for them by making the full name method a common function and still calling it in the context of our object, which is what you see on the screen now. Now if we wanted to pass some extra parameters to the method, how would we do that? We can do that by passing in as comma separated parameters in call method. Let's pass the home states for our objects. Now we will see apply method. The difference between call and apply method is in the fact that apply method needs the extra parameters to be sent in as an array, while call expects it as comma separated values. But in modern day JavaScript, since spread operator helps in spreading an array and passing the params as comma separated values, you will see call method being used more frequently. Now in the bind method what happens is, it doesn't call a method immediately but it binds a function with an object and returns a copy of it. This is something that we see in React apps, but most of us are used to using arrow functions instead of binding in React apps these days. So that is about call, apply and bind methods in JavaScript. Now as promised, we will look into what the value of this would be in callback functions, particularly when they are part of methods in an object. In the example of the screen, the value of this inside of the callback function would be the window or global. But the inbuilt for each method in an array comes to our rescue by providing us with an option to pass to this as a separate argument. See this example of map method in an array, it also provides a similar option to pass to this argument while using a callback function. Now as the last thing, when we use new operator to call a constructor function in JavaScript, what it does is, it creates a new object and points the value of this to that newly created object. So that's it for this video thanks for watching, see you in another video.